Howdy, 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 my beautiful Gemini. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today, darling, I'm going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading, Gemini, for June 2022. All right, so if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, Gemini, let me know in the comments below. That's how I keep up with you, is hearing how this these tarot readings resonate. And be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. It's completely free, Gemini, and join the family if you haven't already. Hello? Um, and it helps me out a lot. Uh, Gemini, as well, be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, darling, because that is how you make uh, general tarot readings resonate with with you the best is by catering to your chart darling all right so let's just get right into the tea here gemini the cards are flying out for you so i usually take that as a sign that someone on your spiritual team whether that be a spirit guide or what have you has a message to be said some of you gemini's might have started building a connection with um a deity a closer relationship with a deity all right it's something that i get as well and y'all we are getting four cards for you gemini right off the bat back of the deck energy is the seven of cups coming in right no the eight of cups all right this is like a situation that uh you emotionally de detached yourself from gemini all right i feel like when it comes to this this, uh, this situation here this gives me very much so like a family member or a friendship relationship of the romantic type darling how you do it all right um regardless whatever type of relationship it is that's obviously your uh thing to be diving into here gemini but it's like you emotionally detach yourself from the situation uh with this individual all right or with this scenario this environment here because i get this sense of like helplessness uh gemini it's like the sense of where well i'm not sure if there's hard feelings for you on one hand i feel as if you realize that you couldn't have done anything there's nothing more that you could do with this situation uh here it's like your hands are tied that's what i was thinking here gemini it's like you feel like your hands are tied with the situation here so it's just like for you right now gemini you're at this place to be like all right it is what it is i can't change the outcome i can't change how this person is seeing this or change this person in this case here it seems like this self-sabotaging behavior here i'm gonna show you these cards now um so so we have the queen of swords as well as the justice energy two air cards coming in here we also have the lovers as well as the devil card coming in here so this is your energy as well gemini all right with that lover's energy and then that devil is the capricorn i believe anyways right so with this situation here gemini this gives me very much so an individual where it's just like you wanted this situation to work out but it's this like i feel like you had to give like some tough love here almost right where it's just like there's this devil here um this devil here honey uh and we'll dive into this a little bit deeper uh gemini to see if this is like self-sabotaging behavior or what this really is but there is this devil's presence right uh, if you take the literal definition of the devil here and what it represents here where you acknowledge that that's what's causing an imbalance when it comes to this relationship when it comes to the situation here and so you've had to do your own personal self-preservation gemini when it comes to this situation and you're just like all right like you know you can't handle anything with that devil again your hands are tied to it and so i feel like on some level you just like it's like you've had to like pull out a little bit of gemini just a little bit i feel uh just so it wasn't impacting you as much as it has been because it's like you don't want to just like i mean i feel like you will if your hand is pushed to, to that point gemini but i feel like you first there is this reason where it's just like you're wanting to give this a chance here you see the potential in being able to work through this devil situation so what is this about let's get a bridge shuffle here gemini and then we'll delve into this what is this devil situation with uh, that lovers right that situation that you hold intimately to you seven of cups king of cups in the reverse with the hierophant so this is very much so like a situation where i don't want to say grass is greener on the other side the moon energy in the reverse I don't feel like this situation suffers from like grass is green or on the other side. I feel like this is like a situation of like someone referencing all the potential outcomes and how this could come to the end. This person might struggle from some anxiety here is what I might be getting as well. It's like this person's an overthinker right and with this hierophant energy here it's like either they're afraid of commitment or they're like the moment there's like the sense of like them getting emotionally attached to a situation you being that situation gemini there is this sense of where it triggers something in them where it's just like because they care so much about the situation they don't want to have it be ruined but at the same time they end up like preparing for the worst 
And with this moon card in the reverse here, Gemini, this leads me to believe of like some previous situations, right? Some previous trauma that they might have been going through, right? Whether that's through like a relationship, maybe they just had committed themselves in a prior relationship and something went bad with Ash, maybe family. There's like some level of where they regret it. They have this sense of regret with the level of commitment to the level of emotion that they exuded with the situation because of some type of outcome, right? Whether the, what, what that is, is obviously going to be different for each individual. Um, and plus it's just not our business to be going into, but, um, yeah, they, you realize the situation where it's just like they have their own personal work to be going through when it comes to that. It's like, you can't change anything. Like you can't change their trauma. Right. And so for you, you're just like, okay, like you can't, you know, you, you have hope, you have faith that it is going to be working out and for some of you gemini's you might have again like you might have been working with some type of like spiritual energy maybe some rose quartz you've incorporated or again like i think i did even reference that some of you have started connecting with the deity gemini um incorporating that like you're i feel like for you you're kind of just relying on spiritual influence or just more of, might be a situation gemini where you're just like all right if it's meant to be it's gonna be right so how is this gonna be turning out back of the deck is the knight of pentacles coming in here so so far what i want to be telling you gemini is it's, it's looking promising long term all right this is one of those situations where you have to ask yourself is the situation worth it for you right is this situation worth you having this level of patience that you're going to have to exude here gemini because i'm not going to sugarcoat this this is a situation the knight of pentacles is the slowest moving knight out of all the knights darling all right and so with this you have to acknowledge that knight of pentacles journey of getting to that destination while well, let's take a look at these cards here empress as well as the knight of cups in the upright and then the high priestess in the reverse here so it's like for them gemini and I don't want this to come off as condescending because I know that can, that's a very common trap people in the spiritual community can get themselves into is when they talk about how someone's of a higher vibration or just whatever that BS is, right? But I feel like for you, Gemini, you are just a little bit more developed in this way, right? It's one of those things where it's like you can't lead this horse to water and make them drink even though you know at, at the i feel i feel like i made this reference to a sign last week i might have but it's like you have to accept to gemini that you can't like even though you can see that this horse needs water and this horse wouldn't be nearly as angry or upset or acting the way that it is um if it had water you can't help that horse see through that, like understand that. They have to figure that out, figure that out themselves. I do see that, uh, this potential happening, full disclosure, right? I do really see this happening, Gemini, when it comes to this person, right? They have to live life a little bit. They are open, right? This, this Empress energy in the middle here, Gemini, lets me know that they are very open, all right? But it's like this uh, with this high priestess in the reverse here is just the sense of where they just are so in their head. And so they will just like it'll look like they're like it'll look it'll come off as sometimes Gemini that they don't want the situation because of like how unintentionally they will self-sabotage a good thing. And it's, it's not that they want to. It's just that it's one of those people I want to just be like, oh, bless your heart, darling. Bless your heart. <laughs> if you know you know honey um but yeah so is there anything else for you gemini that needs to come up through tarot i feel like we really focused in on like some type of relationship i don't i like to make it you know i like to do my readings catered to like the personal journey as well uh -uh. but yeah i do feel like with that situation gemini it's just like if you're if that situation is worth it to you all right if you are willing to be patient with them then definitely I do see the end result, but I'm not here to tell you what it is and isn't worth it for you. All right, we have the Six of Wands, Four of Swords here, as well as the Ten of Pentacles coming in here. Now the Six of Wands and the Four of Swords is in the reverse here. All right, but I always like to show, the for the most part, show the cards up in the upright Gemini so you can see the artwork of them. In this dynamic here, Gemini, this is calling y'all out and not wanting to be seen. All right. There is this sense of where for you, Gemini, where it's like the sense you don't want to be perceived in your fullest potential here. It's like you're purposely dimming your light, Gemini, so you don't gather enough attention or gather eyes, uh, garner eyes from people. You know, I feel like that's the very opposite thing that you're wanting right now is people noticing you, which is weird to me because I'm just like, well, if you're, you if you're this great and fabulous person, which I see that you clearly are Gemini, like 
opportunities would open themselves up for you if you were to like present it yourself in that way have you shot your shot recently gemini and like going up in the ranks for your work field have you you know even if we're talking about this other situation on a romantic level you know just because they're on their personal journey that that doesn't mean that like you don't stop like dressing yourself up you know and uh going out and getting attention from people darling right they're on their journey you know once they figure themselves out then you can you know settle back down with them here but i feel like for some of you gemini's you're almost resorting to this hermit energy here and just like yeah i just want to i just want to challenge you right now gemini and like uh unapologetically like commanding attention that's really what i want to say is just like start being a little bit more unapologetic when it comes to commanding attention in a space gemini whatever that looks like for you darling all right so let's do your oracle cards uh for your tarot reading now this week gemini hopefully you found something in this reading that resonated with you darling this is such a pleasure to do so your moon oracle as well as animal oracle for this week gemini you have the full moon in sagittarius which is what we just had actually the full moon in sagittarius so take this as a sign right now gemini if you haven't done a ritual yet you can still manipulate the full moon's energy for a little bit longer here fabulous but this says looking at the bigger picture really fabulous i like i could go into a whole video just talking about like how powerful this oracle dynamic is for you but i won't um and then the spider card comes in the trust the creative spark you're feeling and express it through writing stories and inspiring and enlightening so very much so goes back to what i was just saying gemini where it's just like some of you guys are afraid of garn garnering attention for your talent for your work here and this is a direct message gemini where it's just like if you were to actually put your work out there if you were to take a risk and just like you know start your own business or just whatever i feel like this is such a big blessing for my uh gemini's that want to do big things in the world all right so it's just like if you haven't chosen to take uh physical action towards certain things that you wanted to accomplish in this lifetime and get out go after what it is that you want i want to ask you why you haven't this is the most opportune time of any time right now for you gemini especially from a spiritual level to manipulate the energy currently to get things going in that way all right darling so gemini that's all i have for you this week hopefully you did find some tarot cards that did resonate if you did let me know in the comments below how this did all right and give this video a like and subscribe because as i said beforehand gemini it's completely free to do and actually does help me out a lot all right but remember gemini if you want to book a private reading with me my website's linked to down below simply velka Dot com. All right. Next to my social medias, if you want to connect with me on a more intimate level, uh, TikTok and Instagram, both just being simply Valka. But um, I love you so much, Gemini, and hopefully I can connect with you sometime in the near future. Bye, darling.